Hey guys, this is John, and I'm playing M. Bojan in the three-minute pool on chess.com. Starting a couple moves late here, but we are in a Sicilian. Open Sicilian, here we go. I'll play classical. Uh, Bishop e2, I'll play e5. Got to play these three-minute games closer to one minute than five minute, if you're trying to average them out. Uh, someone gave me that advice a long time ago, and I think it's quite valid. I have a lot of time pressure issues at the three-minute time control. Okay, knight there. Um, I'm not going to play for d5. I think I could, but I'm going to let white play knight e3, and then I'm going to stick this knight in on d4 and try to make it difficult for white to plan a knight on d5 permanently. Okay, so let's just play a6. That looks handy. Merry Christmas to everyone. Stocks are down right now, but hopefully my rating goes up. I'm not going to get in d5, at least for the moment, but I think I'll play rook f d8 and just sort of bide my time. This knight is pretty annoying for white on d4. Okay. Yeah, white's trying to Karpov me here, but I have some counter arguments to that, I think. Um, Queen c6. Queen c6, maybe they can plant the knight on d5. Let's just take, because if rook takes, I can take on a5, so it seems white has to take with a knight. Okay, so white's going to give me this pawn. And try for compensation. Yeah, probably knight d5. Uh, let's, let's take... Hmm... I'll keep this bishop on this diagonal, as opposed to bishop f8. So up a pawn, but undoubtedly this knight is strong. But I, I don't think that should give white full compensation. I feel like I can chip away at the foundation here. Maybe queen a2, attack the b2 pawn. I'd love to trade knights cleanly if I could. Get a swap there. Uh, queen c4, perhaps. Let's just play b5. No particular rush. b5, maybe a5. Maybe even all the way down to a3. Yeah, let's play a5. I don't think white's doing anything in particular, just trying to solidify the position. Got enough time left. Looking good from a time perspective. Let's play this first. Could have played a3 right away, but just getting the queen out of range of the knight, let's say. So if ever knight before, not hitting the queen. Might be getting time to try to trade for that knight on d5, though. So knight c7, perhaps? Yeah, let's do it. If knight b6, I'll play rook b8. This and this is possible, but it looks kind of sketchy for white. That knight will be a ways from home. Okay, so he's going fully positional here. Hmm. It's an interesting approach, and I gotta watch my time. Mm -hmm. That is a good move. Looking for knight c6. Ah, he can win the pawn back now. Okay. Yeah. Definitely botched that a little bit. Mm, this hangs. Okay, let's try to get f5 in. Fight back. I'm going to centralize... Dreaming of e4 someday. Um, 
I'd love to get that in. Okay, let's see what happens here. This looks like a draw. Oh, not when I blunder that. Yeah, I got kind of killed on the clock here down the stretch. Yeah, he just made better use of his time than I did. I had a little bit of trouble with that knight on d5. Um, I thought I chose a decent moment to try to trade at knight c7, but didn't pan out. Where was it? Right here? Yeah, knight d7, uh, knight c7 rather. Okay, black again. Uh, let's play another Sicilian. I'll mix it up this time and play Khan if allowed against Baba Droga. Got to be a little quicker. Uh, let's play just the standard Hedgehog. B6, Bishop B7. Hmm, Bishop F3 is a little weird. I'm not going to bite on this pawn because you do have to give some deference to E5. Got to respect the E5 move. But I think this bishop should be bad here. I can already think about planting a knight on this square, for instance. Now b5 is very tempting. I'm going to do it. Try to weaken white's pawns. I'm slightly underdeveloped. It would have been nicer to play this move after bishop b7 and castle, but I think it's still pretty good here. Okay, he's going to sack. I'm a little surprised by this. this. Doesn't look like he should get compensation. Although I said the exact same thing last game. <laughs> and my opponent did get compensation. But d6 is the only conspicuous weakness here. And I think I can cover that. Uh, maybe now bishop c6 or knight e5. Bishop c6. Hmm. Let's play knight e5 first. Unless I allowed bishop a3, but I can reinforce. Just kind of like this move to keep an eye on the bishop here. Okay, so it looks like he's just getting ready for a4. So let's take this moment to castle. Could just take on f3. Uh, I think I'm going to do that. And then play knight d7. Yeah, I stick with the pawn because otherwise that pawn would have fell. So knight d7, maybe knight c5. Now perhaps e5. I wonder if knight takes d6 is possible. I might have some sort of counter strike, like knight e6 maybe. I think knight e6 would be nice. I'm kind of eyeing up these squares here and here. Uh, also, bishop g5 could be a threat. f5 is another idea too, if I want to open the king side. Okay, he does take. Hmm. A few different tempting moves here. I think I just like this one. Let's do that. Yeah, again, looking for this. And if the knight moves, I can take here. Let's go for the material now. Okay, let's pin. Jump this up. I might sack on d6. I mean, I think that's a knight I'm willing to sack for. 
but for now this looks very very strong um hmm let's just get rid of the back rank problem first be queen c4 no, it's going to take. Interesting. I don't think that was a wise decision. I also could have thrown in this. Okay, let's go here. So B4, I can play rook takes. Might not even need to play knight. rook g6. Hmm. No rush to take here or here. Okay. So won that game. I'm not going to rematch. I'm just in the pool right now, so I'm going to try to play a variety of opponents. Uh, HOF GM Johnny. I wonder if this is John Federowitz, Grandmaster, uh, multiple-time U.S. champion. Because he has some sort of similar username on some site. But there's no Grandmaster next to his name, so we'll just proceed like this is a untitled 2669. Okay, this variation I believe is supposed to be good for white. Let's play a4, just to undermine the queen side. Um, okay, I'll play e4, knight d2, knight c4. Yeah, because this bishop should be kind of out of play over here. Uh, maybe I should have prefaced that with rook e1, though. Okay, I'll put myself in a slight pin for the moment. Takes, interesting. All right. Um, f4, can I be greedy? Let's take the space. And I'd love to continue with e5 soon. but I need to develop first. Mm, okay, let's play rook d1. Play rook b1 too. I want to play b3. I'd like to stabilize, but I don't like this bishop eyeing up my rook here. So I want to go b3. Uh might have to time it correctly because black's going to go for a counterplay with c4. Yeah, black does it immediately. e5. I could also play bishop here. Looks handy, although then knight g4. Hmm. Potentially a little overextended here. Yeah, b3. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to let, let black take on d5. There's a pin on the e-file, but it was either that or just give up my a-pawn without a fight. Uh, ooh, knight takes e4 I didn't even see. That's probably just a good move. Yeah, my bishop pair is really struggling here. <laughs> Not much of a bishop pair to speak of. Okay, just try to continue developing, I guess. Bishop takes e4, f5 was not looking inspiring. This, this is an awful position now. Oh, this is hanging. Oh, man. This is very, very bad. <laughs> Rook e2 probably coming. No, just knight back. Okay. Hmm. All right, I'll try to counterattack this guy. Now this bishop's probably close to being trapped. I'm trying to take on f5. Hmm, okay. 
go after the a5 pawn maybe bishop c3 eventually but even that is not so not so great okay, i feel like he's kind of messing this up though he certainly could have played this better let's keep that That's one dangerous pawn there. Uh, ooh, that's a good move. Yikes. Yeah, bishop takes b2. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I think that's over. Yeah, I thought that line was considered a bit dubious for black, but, you know, pretty much everything is playable in three minutes. I think I rushed knight c4. I should have played rook e1 first. Yeah, that was a bit sloppy rook. Rook e1 would have avoided this pin situation when the bishop came to a6. Okay, let's get back in there. Just a prank. Uh, let's play in English. I had a recent request for an English game, so hopefully I can do some damage here. Uh, let's play knight f3. Black does have a lot of good setups, I feel. This is an interesting move, usually a prelude to doing uh, a fianchetto of the bishop. So let's try to react in the center. Uh, yeah, they're gonna play kind of Nimzo Indian style. So let's take the center space on offer. And... All right, I guess I'll do this and then play for F4. Attempt to open the position. But yeah, this is an interesting way of playing for black, playing against my weak pawns. Very tempted just to let that pawn uh, hang. Let's do it. Let's just play f4. Play for the initiative. Let's take. Hmm. Castling long, which makes sense. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I just have nothing here. So now it's going to be hard to develop, unless I want to put my dark square bishop on some really bad square. Yeah, just bring the knight into the game. Okay, I'll put the bishop here just in an effort to connect my rooks. Wasn't really seeing much better. Definitely a bit worried about queen a4, which is not only going to eye up a2, but also attack c4 three times. So, yeah, and black goes for that. So let's take and play rook f1. Now I do have a threat of check and have king d7 bishop here, but that's the only thing saving me from instant annihilation with some move like this. So strategically, I'm in a desperate position right now. I have to compensate by playing for an initiative of some kind. Okay, and that's a bit heartening at least that black went backwards. So let's invade. And now maybe just play bishop f1 to start. Nice and easy. Pin the knight. I'm not really sure that I'm worse anymore. Maybe I should have kept my queen on f6 to attack this, but this actually doesn't look that bad. Okay, let's play bishop e2. I'll get this bishop here. I'm allowing queen a4 again, but... 
Uh, yeah, that was that was a pretty bad move, I think. Yeah, that was just a bad decision on my part. Okay, well, got to do this. I'm trying to pick up g6 and then a5, uh, h5 rather, but my bishop being loose on the back rank is pretty annoying here. Yeah, it takes with a pawn. Mm. Yes, well played. Yikes, now they're on e4. That knight is just helping to defend everything. Yeah, just take here, probably. Or that. Man, this is just destruction. Wow, got outplayed in that one big time. Did not like my position out of the opening. Yeah, so queen d7, I mean... Ben Larson would be proud of how my opponent played that game. They just totally schooled, schooled me strategically. Uh, I think knight d2 is a pretty bad move. I probably just have to let the pawn drop immediately. Maybe knight h4 and then f4. Because after knight d2, the pawn was still uh, under attack multiple times, and my bishop couldn't get in the game. That was the really bad thing about that decision. I think I had some chances before I played queen g7. Queen g7 was probably a bad move because I lost sight of the d6 pawn and therefore black was able to consolidate their king. Okay, so taking some losses here. Let's play bishop d3. Move the king over. Okay, I'm just going to play very simple. Put the rook on e1 and likely go for this. Black will probably take here. Or maybe not. I've had a couple games like this. So he's going to push e5, it seems. Okay, but now I can play this move. And if takes, I just win with queen g3. So black has to give up the exchange. King h8. Mm, be nice to not take the exchange, but that seems... That doesn't seem right. So let's just do this. Knight f3. Knight f3 might allow e4. I should probably put this here. Rook g8 could be played, though, very soon to try to get after g2. So I might have to play some passive moves just to defend that weakness. But I am up on exchange. Okay, now knight e4, maybe? Be really nice to play f6 here, but not working tactically, it seems. So maybe rookie two first, rookie two d5, though. Let's start with rook c1. Kick the queen. Really trying to make f6 work here, because it just looks like a move you want to play. I'm going to do it, and then I might put the knight on g3. So I could take first and then do that. Or just knight g3 immediately. And let's play knight g3 immediately.
Now I'm threatening this. Okay, let's drop that back. It's pretty much a clearance idea, what I did. Clearance sacrifice. Give back a bit of material, but open lines. Let's keep the knight on f5 for a moment. Just see where that rook goes. It's probably go to g4. g4, queen h6. Ask the knight where it's going to go. This feels very shaky for black, unless I'm missing some tactic. Okay, let's take. Then again, I'm not landing anything yet. Nothing uh, significant. Hmm. Okay, I'm getting sharp now. Let's just push this. Forking the two bishops. Oh, I meant to go to the other one. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I'm going to lose on time. Oh, man. I meant to go uh, to h4 or h2, one of those two squares. And my queen ended up on h3. <laughs> he was stopping queen e5, which was my main idea. But, yeah, it didn't quite get the queen to a good square here. All right. Time scrambling skills also not working out. Still going to get in, though. Rembonsk. Okay, uh, let's play b6 against f4. Just mix it up. I'll go for a double fianchetto against the bird. And then try for e5. Oh, did I did I allow bishop takes f7, knight e6? I guess not. Probably not working. Okay, let's play this then. I want to do this. Yeah, I think I can do this with f7 fortified. Okay, let's just go here. Look for a timely moment to play this move. Uh, not yet. Let's double up. I like my position a lot here, though. Hmm. Yeah, I'm thinking about just this and the knight here. Looking to get queen c5 in after the queen moves. Uh, that just might win, because if queen g3, let's say, I check. Ah, okay, they're threatening mate. That's a problem. Otherwise, queen c5 would just be good here. Uh, so let's play h5 before queen c5. Yeah, 
Yeah, without queen h4, I think that would have been a, a winning idea, queen c5 check. But it still looks pretty good. Maybe just play a bishop retreat if you're white, bishop b3. Okay, there. I think the problem is the rook's going to be under attack on f1. Taken, I'm on the rook. Mm hmm, knight d2. Okay, come in, threaten mate. And he resigns. Yeah, so this was this reverse stonewall setup. White putting pawns on f4, e3, and d4. But I think if black can manage a timely e5, then that's the best way to play against this. So I didn't, I didn't know if my opponent would go for that, but a lot of players do who play the burn. Probably the more promising option is to do the, you know, g3, bishop g2 stuff. Although against b6, I don't know how great that is. But yeah, if you ever face this setup, uh, playing for a pawn break with e5, create two points of contact, it's a very good idea. All right, let's get another game going. I wonder if I should have played queen c5 check first. Is the only consideration instead of h5. Uh, wild 3000, you know what? Fiend Kettowing worked in the last game. Let's do it again. Hmm. That's a weird move. So I'm going to go for a Scandi-like transposition. <laughs> if I wants to take and enter Scandi territory, I will. Okay. This could get interesting. I'm not sure what to make of this. I'll try to... I think I'll try to quickly put pressure on uh, d4. So let's play like this. White might go for g4, but no. Okay, h5. Secure the knight so g4 doesn't kick it away. I think just e6 here. If ever takes, I can take on, the, on e5. Let's play a French-like move. Hinder white's development. Maybe a3, b4. a3, I'll play a5, I think. Okay, so white develops. Position looks pretty normal. Grab some space over here. I mean, this isn't exactly normal, but the structure in the center is stabilizing now. Okay, white wants a trade. I think I'd prefer to keep a little bit of tension. So let's just reinforce that knight. I'm just going to play knight d4 now. <laughs> okay, that didn't work so well for me. Fair enough. Okay, I agree to your trade. I, I could have saved some time by uh, <laughs> by just trading directly on d4 as opposed to playing knight e7 and then knight takes f5, but what can you do? I'm just trying to keep some tension somehow, although perhaps to my detriment, white's playing very simple and I'm giving myself weaknesses that I can't really offload so easily. Still, though, I think this position is, if worse for if worse for me, only very slightly so. Maybe this coming up next. It's just bishop d3, I guess, if I play that. Uh, okay, let's get the king up. I'm trying to see if he reacts to b4 as an idea. Once my rook's kicked out. Okay. Mm, maybe I should have gone there to keep this defended. I don't know.
Okay, let's maneuver the king. We'll see if he wants to play for some sort of g4 business. He can maybe play b4 now. Although I can just leave the bishop there if he does. It's kind of funny. Hmm. Don't want to trade. Still just waiting. Okay, he's going to go for something over here. Interesting. Hmm. He's going to go bishop e2 and then probably h5 at some stage. Gonna do it right away, okay. Hmm. Play a little faster here. I don't really want to draw. I'll try to attack his pawn. Go after g5. Make sure there's no invasion back there. Now I can probably go after this a3 pawn. Keep everything defended. Okay. Yeah, it was a little bit worse in that end game. But just tried to play fast. And eventually came back and won. Yeah, 97 was a pretty bad move. Uh, right here. That was just silly, because he can take f5 and then put the knight back on d4. I lost a tempo. Okay, wild 3000, let's play d4. The rematch. Exchange QGD. Yeah, a lot of people are playing this move order recently. And then knight h5. Trade the dark square bishops. Okay, he doesn't do that. Interesting. Okay, let's take. In general, I like playing these positions. I feel like white can grind with not really any risk. Plays b5, interesting. Okay, could play a4. Uh, let's just play rookie one to start. If knight f6, maybe knight e5. Yeah, let's play knight e5. Play active. Hit this pawn. Wonder if take here and then bishop takes b5 is at all legit. Probably it's not a great idea. Hmm. 
Mm. I'd like to do something quick, though. Let's just play f3. Could throw in a4, a6, but I don't know if the a file is something I want to open. Okay, I think I'll do it now. I might shift like this. Hmm. Not totally convinced by my position, though. B5, I think, was a good move. That rook over. Okay. Problem is c5 is coming. Maybe I should try to trade this. Okay, let's take... Possibly play for e4. Yeah, I think I will. Maybe pull the knight back to d3 and play it to c5. Um, I could try it. If knight takes, then knight c5 wins material. So definitely looking to plant the knight here if allowed. He's probably going to try to trade for it, though, with his knight. And then maybe I can go after this b-pawn somehow. Okay, so he's going to let me do this. Now it might be a little harder for him to trade. Granted, I don't want to play e5, though, because of knight d5. But rook a3 is now a threat. I think I can just play that. Now just take. Yeah, I think I just go up a pawn here. Okay, let's take. Hmm. It does have some activity though. That queen is pretty annoying on c4. Yeah, pretty annoying. Can I do this? I'm gonna try it. Time's getting low. Okay, this was my big reveal. Take here next. On the rook, on a5. He has created love for his king, so he's not getting back ranked or anything. Uh, maybe queen here? This actually looks pretty nasty, threatening this. Hmm. Do I have to trade now? Uh, maybe that's no big deal. Maybe I just do this and then here. Yeah, now I get this in. That was a bit, for bit fortunate that it worked out that way. I'll just play h3 on king e4. Up two pawns. Bring the king up. I'm going to go after his king side pawns. Just stabilize everything. Okay. 
I don't think I was better when he played b5. I feel like I need to break that position open somehow right away, either with a4 or e4, but I wasn't in a great position to do either. So, okay. Yeah, I'm not getting fantastic positions out of the opening in this in this session. But I'm trying to trying to make it through. Okay, art sick, 2353. I like this line against the Nimza Larson. Makes sense to me. Play maybe two more games this game and one other game. Just develop here. Hmm, that's interesting. I don't know about that one, so I'll just fortify. I guess he's trying for g4, f4, no? Just didn't want his knight on f3 for some reason. <laughs> Fair enough. Okay, now e4 could be a potential idea, but he still needs to get stuff out of the way to do that. So let's play b5. Like, he needs to move his queen. Okay, f4. Hmm. He's going for a clamp. Could play b4. b4 seems interesting. I'll do it. Let's play a5. And now let's bring this back here. And if he plays e4, I might take once and then plan a knight on d5. Okay, he plays that instead. All right, so let's dive in here. And if f5, I think bishop g3 looks pretty nasty. He takes. Pretty surprised by some of these decisions. I'm going to keep my light square bishop. Hmm. Okay, just keep maneuvering. Keep this pawn defended. This knight's headed to d5. Eventually. So he's probably going to plant one knight on e5 at some point. Oh, <laughs> that's a fork I did not see. Yeah, did not see that one coming. All right, so an involuntary exchange sacrifice. I can live with it, though. I have some square control. It may not be the end of the world. <laughs> uh, let's take... I guess he's just winning that pawn. Okay. Gotta let it go. Yeah. Hmm. This is rough with the bishop buried. I need to be attacking his king, and I'm not doing that. I am far from his king right now. I'm just going to try to open something up over there. Just go for a Hail Mary idea. See what happens. What? 95? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> he's saying John go ahead and take it that's deep so if I take it yeah I have some issues there at the end this guy has no fear yeah it's good though
Okay, I'll threaten mate, but he has rook f1. It's pretty conclusive. Yeah, it's not working. I don't think. Eh, there's a couple tricks left. But it shouldn't be working. Hmm. Yeah, he's getting letting me get a little activity, but... Knight takes f4, not even really a threat. Yeah, that's nice. I think that'll do it. I resign. Wow, 95. Because if I take the queen there, just for those who are wondering... Oops. 95. If I take the queen right at this moment, take. And then white will take g7 and then take g6 after that. I don't have a check I can give with the queen. So if I play, let's say this, like takes and... Yeah, I'm getting mated spectacularly. This is also no help. And then rook a8 coming. So, hmm. Kind of strangely played by my opponent, like this knight d2 move. I haven't seen that before. But uh, I really thought white was going for e4 on queen e1. The original queen e1. Right here. I thought e4 was the intention, but instead white just played g4, traded the light square bishop, then got some very nice knights. Uh, knight c8 was a straight up miss on my part though. Okay, let's play one more game. Sorry you guys haven't had much to cheer for in this session, but I do like posting all my sessions. I think it's important to see the full range of what can happen in the course of your chess playing. You know, it's... Uh, I don't want my YouTube channel to be like a, a Instagram account where people are only posting positive stuff. You got to see the the negative trends and the bad days too to get to the really good stuff. Uh, let's play this variation, this piano system. Now, usually rook b8 is played, looking to play b5, and I like rook c1. I think rook c1 is the strongest move here. Okay, um, let's play d5. I think I had this in an OTB game once. Should I take... No, let's just play bishop g2. I think this is also how I played it in that OTB game. And if b5, I'll just play b3. Now let's castle. And if f5, I might play f4 and kind of meet black in the center. Yeah, let's do that. Hmm. You take here first. Okay, let's take. Just take back. I'm trying to think if a sacrifice on c5 ever makes sense. Probably not yet. It needs to be prepped. So let's pin, and then on king g8, probably bishop g5. Stay active. Hmm. I'm going to keep this bishop. Now knight takes c5 as a... Threat, although there is queen b6 on that. Yeah, queen b6 would be the answer. I think. Let's hide the king. Try to make it a threat, but I think now it's a little transparent what I'm up to. Uh, I could take... No, let's keep this.
Now might be the time to do it if I'm going to play it. I think I got to go for it. And if takes, I can take with the queen is very important. Ah, there's bishop h6 maybe though. Bishop h6. Bishop e5, I can play knight e6, I think. No. Black just takes. Bishop e5, I can play this move and keep an eye on the bishop. But I think bishop h6 was winning material there. Okay, 96 looks like the way to go. Hmm. Aggressive. Just attack the knight. Trying to figure out how I can keep this material. But maybe I should be thinking about my time. Because my time is very low. Centralize, attack the rook. Okay, now I can get the queens off the board at least. That helps. And I'm up a pawn still. Invade with the king. Okay, this feels like it should be pretty easily winning. C5 is a threat. Black can't even take it. So black resigns. Okay. Let me back up to that moment because that was an interesting operation. I saw for several moves that knight takes C5 was an idea. As soon as I put the bishop on F4. I'm x-raying that rook on b8. There's only the d6 pawn in between. So this can sometimes work against you in blitz when you latch onto an idea and you try to make it work. And here it doesn't work because queen b6 is possible, which pins the knight to my king. So I played king h1 on move 24, was it? I played king h1 in order to try to facilitate that. But then here in my bishop's under attack, and I think for similar reasons, if knight takes c5, queen b6, it just feels very shaky. Although then maybe I can take on f5. Maybe here I could... No, no, I'm sorry. Knight takes c5 here, black would take. I take the rook, and then black takes on e4. So black gets two minor pieces. So I pulled the bishop back, knight h5, and now I finally went for it on the third attempt. But yeah, I think here... Uh, I think bishop h6 instead would have been just good. Because I can't keep my queen on this diagonal, and my queen's under attack. Doesn't look like there's any astounding uh, counter to this. But bishop e5, I was able to play queen e4 and keep an eye on the bishop and stayed up the pawn. I guess if bishop takes g3, trying some desperado, I could play knight e6 even. Should be good. Queen h4 maybe. Even this isn't so clear. <laughs> I don't know what's happening here. All right, so how did I fare this session? I'm just going to count up my results. So one, two, three, four, five losses. One, two, three, four, five wins. Five and five. Up and down. Definitely got outplayed in some games. Not super happy about how I played. Uh, but stuff to be learned nonetheless. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll be back again soon with another video. I'll probably be streaming quite a bit this week too. I have a little bit of time to do so. Um, so I'll attempt to do that. 
So once again, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, everyone. I've got my USB uh, Christmas tree here too, keeping me company. So you'll probably see this on my stream too. <laughs> yeah, and enjoy everyone. I hope you are doing well in your neck of the woods. All right, bye guys.